Welcome, gentle readers, to another edition of Nightmare Night here on this channel. I am your host, Alinuna von Solaris, and tonight we bring you another story of ghosts and hauntings within this fair town of Ponyville, starring the premier couple of this channel, Elira and Bonbon. Bon. So we present to you The Haunting in Ponyville by Jason the Human. Enjoy! Haunting in Ponyville by Season the Human. Chapter 1 Pony Geist. Milk, cocoa butter, butter, water, flour, and sugar. Bonbon bon had been mixing batch after batch for the stuff for at least four or five hours now. By now, it didn't even require any thought. Once she got on a roll, she just kept going. Besides, with Nightmare Night coming up soon, she couldn't afford to stop. To be honest, the holiday wasn't her favorites. To her, she was a confectioner. This month meant plenty of orders and very often very little sleep. That's when she thought it was over. Some other pony would notice her cutie mark and ask for a batch of lemon drops, caramels, or the ever popular chocolate, or a jelly bean. She tried not to think about how much it would end left up in the woods for hours in front of that old statue. No, Bon never was really a fan of Nightmare Night. And after the month long preparations were over, doing any kind of dress up was out of the question. Besides, it was a silly. Bonbon bon didn't see the appeal. The same couldn't be said for Lyra. Every single year, she would come up with a new ridiculous outfit and stuff her face with sweets. Nightmare Night was the only time when Lyra could be her usual crazy self and actually blend in. At the moment, Lyra was out discussing her costume plans with Rarity at the boutique. Bonbon bon couldn't remember what she said as she was planning this year. Lyra had been babbling about all sorts of crazy ideas. And Bonbon bon couldn't remember any of them. There were more important things to worry about. Some ponies had responsibilities. Moving automatically, Bon Bon turned and crossed the kitchen to the cupboard where she kept the sugar. There were dozens of bags still left. She ordered it in bulk. She took the package that she opened this morning, which was already halfway empty, and measured out a half a cup. Then, taking the handle of the measuring cup carefully in her teeth, she went back to the counter where she let out a sigh. The wooden spoon was now sticking out of the bowl, handle buried in the mix. The other end was dripping sticky batter onto the counter. Setting the cup down next to the bowl, she called out, If you wanted a taste, you could have just asked. Lara didn't even respond. There was only the sound of hooves trotting up the stairs down the hall. She moved fast, that was for sure. Bonbon bon hadn't even heard the door open. She hadn't even seen Lyra come into the kitchen. Not so much as an irritatingly chipper hello. As she leaned in to pick up the spoon, she noticed that the end was still dripping. Lyra hadn't even licked it off. Not that the batter would taste right without sugar mixed in. Oh well. She took the spoon over to the sink, rinsed it off, and pulled a clean one out of the crock. She learned to keep spares. The floorboards upstairs were creaking now, a slow pacing down the upstairs hallway. Bon Bon ignored her, and went back to mixing the chocolate. She perfected the technique over the years, getting just the right texture. It was just the kind of attention that made Pony say her candy was the best in all of Equestria. Then, there was that noise again, Lyra this time. It was like Lyra was pacing back and forth. Her steps were slow and measured. Bonbon bon stared up at the ceiling for a moment, considering it. This wasn't like Lyra at all. Then again, she did tend to get ti weird around this time of year. Well, stranger than usual, anyway. For a moment, Bonbon bon wasn't going to bother it. She picked the spoon back up and went back to stirring. She had a production call for the date to meet, and she couldn't be disturbed right now. Whatever Lyra was up to, it was nothing that concerned. A loud crash shook the house. Bon Bon froze, gritting her teeth. She didn't want to imagine how many hundreds of bits worth of damage there had been. It sounded like Lyra had thrown a bookcase against the wall or something. It didn't make sense. What else could have made a noise like that? She tilted her head upwards towards the ceiling. Is... is everything alright? Hesitantly, Bon Bon set the spoon down next to the bowl. I tried to go into the stairs. Every pony on the street must have heard that noise. Bon Bon certainly didn't want to deal with it right now. But if Lyra was going to destroy the house that they shared, Bon Bon took a deep breath. One half at a time, she climbed up the stairs. Everything had gone quiet now. Still, she had to be careful. No need to rush in and upset her. There were a few photographs that hung over the stairs. A few shots of Lyra and Bon Bon together. Some of their families lived out of town. One photo Bonbon bon taken last heartwarming ease, 
when they had gone to Cancer Lodge, was hanging slightly crooked, so she gently straightened it. Satisfied, she braced herself and headed upstairs. The hallway was empty. Sunlight filtered in through the window at the far end. Curtains hung muscles in front of it. Bonbon paused at the top of the stairs. Lyra, is something wrong? Still no response. She shook her head and tried down the hall. The doors were still left open. She peeked her head into the study. Whatever that noise had been, it didn't seem like it had come from here. The cells were upright. All the books were still on the shelves where they belonged. Of course. No matter how angry Lyra got, she never ruined her collection. She claimed that they were rare. And more importantly, none of Bon Bon's own novels or recipe books had been touched. Bon Bon turned around to check in in her own bedroom on the other side of the hall. Her eyes quickly scanned the familiar setup. Her bed was still made and not a single object on the nightstand had been moved. Everything was neatly put away where it belonged. The only other rooms were the bath and Lyra's bedroom. Bon Bon heard it further down the hall. The floor creaked slightly under her own hoofsteps now, but nowhere near as loud as it sounded from us downstairs. Lyra, if something happened, you could talk to me, she said. But the bedroom was empty as well. Bon Bon stared at it. I then looked back down the hallway. There wasn't much of a chance Lyra could have gotten past her as she had came up here. And again, Lyra didn't usually slip through the front door unnoticed either. The silence was broken by the clock downstairs, striking once for a half hour of third story, in the middle of the afternoon. The chimes seemed to echo throughout the house. She was wasting time that she could be working. Only one room left. Bob Bob went to the end of the hall. She noticed a draft coming from somewhere. She shivered. It was getting chilly, possibly just the fall weather. She had taken care to close all the windows this morning to keep the heat inside, though. She approached the doorway to Lyra's room. She stopped before walking in. Looked like a hurricane had gone through. The covers on the bed were thrown aside into a heap on the floor. Sheets of music were scattered all over the place. In other words, it was exactly as Lyra left it this morning. It seemed like the only thing Lyra took care of was her liar. It rested in a stand on her dresser, lovely polished to a shine. Lyra, are you in here? Bon Bon called. She was hardly surprised at the lack of a response. There were clothes spilling out of the closet. Lyra seemed to own more than most ponies. Bon Bon carefully stepped over to search the room, completely deserted, just like the others. All the furniture was exactly where it was supposed to be. It had been that way in every single room. She was sure of it. So what had the crash been been? And where was Lyra anyway? Those hostess had stopped too. Bon Bon sighed. She turned around to leave and came face to face with a pair of bright yellow eyes. Hiya! Bon Bon nearly tells her skin. Lyra! She so took a moment to catch her breath. What? What are you doing? <laughs> this is my room. Lyra said, raising an eyebrow. What are you doing in here? I thought you said you'd be working all day. I thought I heard. Bon Bon's voice trailed off. Where have you been anyway? I was over at Rarity's. I thought I told you. The whole time, Bon Bon said. But you left at least two hours ago. Yeah, Lyra said. It took a while to explain the costume I wanted to her. She said she even never heard of Sonia as I was looking for. I told her that maybe Spike would know about... Bon Bon raised her hoof to clear her off. You just now got here. As in within the last couple of minutes? Lara slowly nodded. That's what I said. She caught her head to the sight. Aren't you feeling all right, Bon Bon? You don't look so good. Bon Bon pushed past her. Then what was that noise? She muttered. She headed down the hall, taking every room again. Bathroom, study, her own bedroom. All was empty. Was there anything else he had missed? She sat for a moment. Of course. She went inside and headed for her closet. Lyra followed after her. See, what happens usually when I do something like this costume and other ponies don't understand me, that's when you criticize me and say I'm being too. Bon Bon hushed her. Lyra's eyes widened as he realized something was wrong. You said you've been gone this whole entire time, but I've been hearing host steps and other things. You sure? Lyra said. Some pony was moving things around in the kitchen. There's some pony else in the house. Then, Lyra slowly looked at the closet. They approached it together. They exchanged an uneasy glance. Taking a deep breath, Bob Bob reached up and flung the door open. It was Pinkie Pie! <laughs> they both jumped back at the same time. Everything was silent for a while. Then Lyra let out a breath. Now that's a letdown. 
There are a few dresses and some old aprons hanging inside. Some cardboard bosses were pushed against the back wall. Under that, it was completely empty. Bonbon bon turned around and started pacing back and forth. I checked the entire second floor. There's nowhere any pony could hide, but I know I heard some pony up there. Maybe you've just been working too hard. Larry suggested. You could be hearing things. Did you look around outside? Did anything, I don't know, fall? Bonbon bon said. The biggest idea didn't have another accident with the mail, did they? No! <laughs> nope, I don't think so, at least. Lyra gave a smile. Maybe you do just need a break. And you still got a few days to get your oars filled, right? Bon Bon wasn't satisfied yet. I know what I heard. There's some pony in the house. I know it! I was silent for a moment. Some pony. Or something. She said in a low voice. Eyes wide. Or somebody! This is serious, Lyra. Stop joking around. I'm not. And that's saying, we haven't seen anybody. So, maybe we've got a... Maybe you're a little bit too much into this Nightmare Night thing. You've heard one too many scary stories. Lara frowned. You never know. You're the one who was hearing stuff, not me. Or it was. It wasn't a ghost, or whatever you think it is. So no better than believe in things like that. Bonbon bon pushed her way past before she could respond. Lara made a face and followed her to the hallway. One of our house is built on one of those easy burial grounds, Lyra said suddenly. I mean, they must have had those. There's nothing like it. We should start digging. Bonbon bon spun around. Lyra, for the last time, they're just made up as ghosts, and I distinctly heard hoofs. You don't actually believe that we not only have a ghost, but the ghost of one of your... Lyra's ears picked up. Wait, did you hear that? Slams behind her to Bonbon's bon room. Hear what? Bonbon bon asked. Listen. They both fell silent. Bonbon bon looked around the hallway. She shook her head. Lyra, there's nothing. The door to Lyra's room slammed closed. And then one by one, the heiress followed. Bonbon bon was suddenly hit by a blast of cold air that rushed to her. Nearly knocked her off her hose with sheer force. The wind reached the stairwell down the line. As her frames fell out the wall, it shattered on the steps. Lyra, seeing Lyra, stood there for a moment without a word. Lyra spat her mane out of her mouth. Then what do you think that was? Bon Bon's mouth opened. Nothing came out. She could feel the unnatural chill, even though everything had gone quiet. Finally, she managed to choke out. I... I don't... Slowly, a grin crossed Lyra's face. She began bouncing up and down. This is gonna be the best nightmare night ever! 